baby. <laughs> Woo! Gassing up. That's gonna cost a lot of money. But what up, world? Welcome back to another episode, yes, of Skinny's World. Red is in the building. Yes. But he's not he's actually not in the car. I got I got Jin Jin with me. What up, Jin? What up though? Red is actually on his motorcycle. We are headed to a little cars and coffee. Well, I guess I'm gonna say cars and bikes. Bikes meet up, not even coffee. It's nighttime right now, guys. It is actually a Thursday night, it's almost eight o'clock, and we're headed to an event down at Garage Collective again. They've been having a lot of like car meets slash a mix with bike meets. It's pretty sick. And I got a text from my boy Danny, who you guys saw last video. And he said, it's packed down here, you gotta come. And we're headed down there to check out what's going on. I saw a lot of bikes on Instagram, a lot of sick whips. I even saw another Lambo, same color, same spec as mine. So we can go slime it up together and check it out. But guys, in this video though, I'm, I'm pumped. I'm excited. We have our first like actual mod, I guess you could say, to the car. Head up to VF Engineering. I know you guys are gonna say supercharger. You have to stick around and see. You never know what's gonna happen. Boys going up to VF right in the middle of this video and getting some upgrades done. The first upgrade on the Lambo. I'm, I'm excited for that, man. I'm pumped. So I also heard a lot of you guys' feedback. You guys, somewhat, if you love the Dream Car Series, some of you guys are somewhat tired of the Dream Car Series. So I'm gonna still do that. It's not going away. But a lot of you guys want to see some of the car meets, see me getting back out there, going to some of the shows, checking out some of the nasty whips. So I'm gonna do that tonight. We're hitting it up with Jan and with the Red. We're gonna get back to the OG, right? Yes, sir. OG style Skinny's Real Vlog, where it all started with the Lambo. And then you're gonna see the first upgrade, the first mod on the new whip, man. I'm excited. I'm, I'm, oh, there we go. The quick stop, 7308. Jeez Louise, that's half a tank. $73. How much is the gas here? Hold up. Oh, 5.6. I mean, that makes sense, but golly, this thing is. This thing is thirsty. Woo! Boy, is that green because money? Yeah, it's gonna it's just, it's gonna leave. Leave the pockets. Oh my god. Let's go. <laughs> this might be the first time I'm doing a video and someone's riding a bike and I'm filming a car in a bike scene. Hey, he Red's getting it though. I gotta catch up. Hold on, I gotta catch up. <laughs> I did not expect this. This is crazy. Look at this. Let's go. Yo, look at this. This is wild. Look at that, Jen. That's a nice M series right there. Dude, this is crazy. Wild. Dude, this is crazy right now. All blocks, six blocks are packed. Are you serious? Yeah, Jen packed. Holy man. smokes. Jen packed. Right. By far the biggest event at Garage Club. All right, let me back up. Dude, this is wild. Oh, you ready? You ready? Holy, dude, this is like ready? old school. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Come on. Come on. Come on. You, guys, you, guys, you guys remember Danny from the last video? This is wild, bro. We're from that era, man. Dude, this is crazy. Like, when I used to be back on my motorcycle club, this is what it was like. Listen, if any, you guys, week, any of you guys go and watch those Tokyo Fresh meets yeah. at UDX in Japan, Tokyo, yeah. I was the guy that did You're those. You're doing that? So, dude, voila. You <laughs> actually haven't shared anybody with the history, guys. Danny's really heavily connected, like, all over the car world, like in Japan, Germany, very well known. Germany, like all those huge events, this man threw. This is nuts. All right, Jen. Full house, buddy. You ready? Excited? Mm -hmm. Let's go, dude. Let's go. You ready? Dude, look at this. Look at look at look at all the bikes. It's crazy, huh? Nuts. Here, you gotta close that door. Close that door. Close it. Slam it. Slam it. Slam it. There you go. I can't get over how wild this event is. Like, I always say in some of my videos that in San Diego, we don't have like events like this at all. At all. So when Base came down here, when they did their meet down here, that's why I was so excited that they came from OC down here because we don't have meetings like this. So the fact that they're doing this now at Garage Collective, it's lit because it is extremely nice in there. Who we got, man? Like, look, this, I mean, obviously I know the Porsche Green is way different than the Mantis, but dude, it's, Sick man, I actually love this dog green. I remember when Damon tapped his uh, CGT that color, it really completely transformed the look of that car. Oh, 
ليلي وما زرنا نوديلي بارضي فيش حاجة خليني داير ورا ذيلي اه وين في عظمي باجي مع بسمي بعويش وطني ولا اللاجئ شو الفارق يا ويلي Oh, we got 20 Lambos, Red. We got 20 Lambos. Does this mean I have to get a 20? Or uh, I think this means you do gotta get 20. Come on, man. We, we get a trio. A, we need to be a throuple. Right? Right? So I was talking to the owner. It's a 2015, though. I'll mine's 2017. But his interior is what I want. So we have the same stitching, same black interior. But he's got the Alcantara seats, which is what I really wanted. Look, he's got the Alcantara, the seats. This is what I wanted so bad. And you got a little bit of Alcantara here. Little Alcantara in the center. Like, oh, that's the only thing missing on my Lambo that I wanted is all the Alcantara on the inside. It also has the forged carbon in the engine bay, which honestly, like, I'm not crazy about. It looks lit. I didn't have to have forged carbon or carbon in the engine bay, but it does look, I mean, damn, it does look nice. I, I, I mean, damn, now I kind of want it looking at it. And I kind of want it. But the biggest thing I really wanted was Alcantara seat. So when my leather wears down over the years, I'll end up putting some Alcantara in the seats, I'll do the whole dash Alcantara. I also want to do some stars in the ceiling. I know a lot of you guys probably don't like that look. I don't know. My boy Josh did it. Josh and Ron, you guys know Josh. He put stars in the ceiling. His Lambo. And it looks hard. So I'm going to take a page out of his book. Put some stars in the roof. So, yo, big wang gang. Yo, uh, dude, just feel Ford Fiesta. No, put a wing. No, don't do that. We're not, we're not doing that. Got a Lambo, though. Would you want to do a wing like that if you had a Lamb? Oh, Bumble yeah. Is really? Yeah, that's pretty hard. I'm not going to lie. I'm still a fan of the big wing at the at the back. I really am. With with the big tires, just yes. hanging there. Come yeah, on, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm a big fan of this too. I know it's been done, guys. I know some of you guys hate it, but I, it's what I like. I still like. It. Ooh. This thing is loud. I got that on camera too. Alright, All right, my man. I'll catch you later. How you doing, brother? Yeah, I'm good, bro. We'll see ya. This thing is so sick. So you guys saw this last video. Dang. That's nice. This, I love this wide body right here. Look at this. Oh my god. Woo! Smooth, man. Dude, look at that. That is sick. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh, this thing sounds good. <laughs> Look, let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go. Nice. That is what I grew up on right there. Let's go. All the homies wanted that set up back in the day. Listen to that thing. <laughs> Come on. I love this. <laughs> that literally shook my seat. I'm not gonna lie to you. That massaged my ass. Guys, we're back, head up to BF right now to get that upgrade, the first upgrade modification on the Huracan, baby. I am ecstatic for this one. Man, California, oh my God. I, he's up there and I still hear him, oh my gosh. California is still California. We have a little bit of sunshine right now, just a little bit. It was dumping raining earlier, man, like raining, raining a lot in spots. Cali, can you make up your mind? Actually, don't make your mind, just be sunny. <laughs> Squirrely, baby. <laughs> yes, yeah, so we have arrived at BF Engineering, baby. Hold on, let me get the front lift up. This car is a little bit low, even though it's not lower. Not lower, but the front lift, it does wonder. So front lift is going up, and we're gonna pull in gradually, baby. Dude, look at this. Holy crap, it is way different over here. Normally, normally we're on that side. I did not know they opened up a whole different side over here. This is wild at this purple on this freaking STO. That is lit. The camera's not even doing it justice. It's a lot brighter. It almost looks blue on the camera. Sick. Mo brought his car because he actually wants to see about getting a supercharger on his Porsche. 
We know they have them. We just didn't know if they had them in stock or for third party. But looking by the car here, you might be in luck with the supercharger, man. Yeah, well, we'll talk to the guys about it and see what they got. But I don't know, I'm a fan of purple because no one does purple. That's sick. That's so clean. Wow. And it's not a wrap. How you can tell if you look inside here, that's an actual green color from Lamborghini. That is not a wrap. That is lit. That's super lit. So good. So this, oh, this green is amazing too. This is sick. This is definitely a wrap. Look at that. They got the little Lamborghini decals over here. That's hard. This must be a nose check wrap. It's gotta be the way it looks. I like the purple. I'm not gonna lie. That, that, that is, and that setup, look at that guys. Look at that. <laughs> that is just, Wah. All right guys, cat is out the bag. We are getting this bad boy tuned. Yes, I am pumped. So we're getting the ECU and the transmission tuned as well. So a lot more horsepower, bangs and pops, like crazy is why we requested. And so now the shifting also that they're doing on this tune, the shifting is gonna be a lot more crisp, faster. Oh, and so, so smooth. I'm excited. So they did the software, I think about, I wanna say a year ago, I believe. I wanna say that Damon's KB43 Huracan was a test for them to see how it could work. If I'm not mistaken, but I know Damon got on this car and he said he loved it. It shifts like crazy. And it's just, it's a beast of a car. And they're already stopped. This car, compared to the Aria, once again, is a beast of a car. So with this tune, I'm pumped. So I know you guys are asking, oh, I thought you were getting the supercharger, guys. I will, I promise you, I am going to supercharge, supercharge this car. This car will get supercharged. It's not gonna be soon, soon, no it's not. Here's my plan for this car. First, all my cars I've had in my life, even on my motorcycles, the first thing I wanna do is I wanna make it sound good, right? You need stock exhaust, Ugh, can't do it. Yes, this has a sport exhaust on it, but it has a Lamborghini sport exhaust. Sounds okay, but it's still a vacuum cleaner-ish, ish, right? So you gotta make your car sound good. Then you gotta make it feel good, so with the tune. So you gotta make it just be crisp, smooth, and just have that extra power. That's the first thing you always wanna do when you get any car or even a motorcycle, right? Second thing is, I wanna make it look good. So obviously that's aero and that's rims, right? Not even a wrap yet, that's just straight aero, rims. Not even big stuff. So like the wing, wing is cool. I like this little like uh, Vorsteiner-ish wing. I'm not even sure what, if it's an off-brand or name brand wing, I have no idea. But this wing is cool, but I like big wings. I want a big wing, aero. The aero on this car is a lot different than the R8. R8, Side skirts are kind of the same center pieces, but on this car, front bumper, it's a whole new front bumper, and let me show you. So to get a new front bumper, normally like on the R8, I did like a front splitter, right? Which the front splitter just went under here and literally completely changed the whole transformation of the car. I did a 1016 front splitter side skirt and literally changed the whole transformation of the front and the side of the car. It looked really good. On this car, in order to change it and make it look really good and really unique, it's a whole new front bumper. So this whole bumper is gonna come off and this whole section here is gonna look different. And then you gotta get the uh, front splitter right here. That's a lot of money. So why I'm not wrapping obviously is because I don't wanna wrap a car and do a livery and then take this off and have to rewrap it. So I get all the aero done. Now you wanna talk about lubricant fenders. Lubricant fenders, like on the R8, what was cool about the R8 is the hood was this whole thing. So R8, you guys remember this hood came all the way up. So when you got a new hood, like 1016, it had lubricant fenders on it. So the whole hood right here had lever fenders. This car, you see the hood and the fenders are completely separate. Hoods right here, fenders are here. So I have to do a whole fender replacement with the louvers on here in order to get the look I want. So once again, I'm not gonna wrap the car. I wanna get those fenders on. Possibly be, honestly, I'll probably paint it because I do love this color. You guys are all right in the comments. Don't wrap it, keep the color. I'm a fan of this color. I'll keep rocking it for a while and just add some little tidbits to make the car look race car-ish and add my little flair on it, but I will have 90% of this color will be shown in this car still. So when I get the new front bumper, I get the new fenders, we'll paint it, paint code to match the car. Now the rear is something else. A couple options I want. You can do a full new whole uh, bumper replacement right here, right? And it really changes this whole outlook here. Or I can just add a little diffuser on the bottom, which I'm kind of going toward. And that's when we'll do something really, really nice and sweet with the exhaust. So back to what I'm saying earlier before, it's in phases, guys. So tune right now. Exhaust is gonna come second. I already talked to uh, Lightspeed Racing. They're getting some wheels designed for me. I'm getting them a custom design wheel that I saw that I wanted. And it's gonna be, it's gonna be lit. If you guys like the pink wheels I had, actually before that, if you like the white wheels I had on the R8, right? Those are nasty. And if you like the Lightspeed Racing, the pink ones that really took it to a whole nother level, 
Those were extra, extra nasty. Wait till you see what I have in store for this car. The rim setup I'm gonna do on here is gonna be, it's gonna be lit. A little bit of old school flair, but with some new school pop, and you're gonna love it. So I have rims already getting designed. That may take a little bit of time because we have to design it, make sure I approve of it, cut it, and then I don't even know what color I'm painting them yet because I gotta figure out how I'm gonna wrap the car in the future. Like, there's three different designs that I like, temporary designs that I like. Then I have the big shebang that I really, really want that'll probably be a little bit more down the road. So you guys will see this car change a good four to five times in a very positive way. And you're gonna love every single change of it. So how it looks now, it won't look this way, honestly, in the next five months. Four, I'll say four to five months. Honestly, by car week, I need to have it look a little bit different with my decals on it. Then after car week, I'll transform it again. And then we'll say holidays, I'm gonna transform it again. So you're gonna see this thing change in phases. And it's gonna be sick and it's gonna be amazing, man. But I'm pumped right now. So BF Engineering is doing the first, first ever modification with the tune. It's gonna drive smooth, crisp, quick, and the annoying pops and banks. I'm gonna love it. And once I get an exhaust, you're really gonna hear how loud they are. So, woof. But here, I'll show you guys a great example of what I was talking about earlier with the hood on the Huracan the R8. So the hood on the R8, you see this? It's all one big piece. So this is the hood I was actually gonna get, 1016. And you see the louvers are attached to the hood, which is over, it's all one piece. So you buy a hood, you get the goods. For me, I gotta get a hood and fender. So two separate things that I gotta do. Man, I'm not gonna lie. I wasn't a huge fan of the newer 2023, 24s, but now that I don't have one, man, I kinda, kinda, miss, kinda miss it a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. Looks, but I'm a Lambo guy now, sorry. All right, so we got some, we got some answers for you though, right? Because Mo, Mo came, obviously he wanted to keep the boy company, but really he wanted to check and see about a supercharger for the Porsche. Yeah, since you and I they do it. have it. And it's actually a pretty, pretty good damn price and being installed. And what's sick about it that we found out is that it was what he said it was belt driven, right? A belt, yeah, yeah, belt yeah. driven. So it honestly acts at higher RPMs when you really get on it. It acts like a turbocharged car. Exactly. So like it just increases, increases, and you kind of get that turbo type feel. So that's 150, we believe, extra horsepower in that little thing. Little that's little crazy. Thing. You're gonna be flying because that, that little car is so light. Yeah. Holy crap. Supercharger with that crazy Home Depot exhaust you got. <laughs> <laughs> we'll change up the exhaust. No, <laughs> no, you can't. I do. I'm not even hating. I love the way that thing sounds. Really? Um, yeah, dude, it tickled my <laughs> up here. I'm not even joking. You, you, can know, you can upgrade to one of these, man. Look at it. Yep. First gen right there. That's where it all started for me. You're supposed to buy my R8 and you you, you punked out. Well, you well, sold it before I bought you, it. Come on, man. You had like a whole year. What happened? <laughs> oh, what's, what's the difference between the old one? The old one was just out of production for a couple of years. It was using a blower that was no longer in production. So oh. we bought all the remaining stock and made as many kits as we could. Sick. And then over the last couple of years, with a current production blower, we developed a new kit. Oh. Pushes at this moment about nine and a half PSI. That's about 200 horsepower to this car, which is... Due to this car? Dude. Yeah, so it goes from a little over 400 to about 600. That is sick. That was one of the things when I had my first Genari that like in the back of your head, you're like, I'm not that fast. Like you're missing that oomph. Supercar, you're missing that oomph. Now they're up to par with everybody else. Yeah, That's so the supercharger is as fast as the V10. It's Dude. the highest spec R8 V10 that they have. And you keep the Dude. V8 sound. Dude. V8. Dude, because you do know the V8 sound better than the V10s. You do know that? Yeah, because like I, from what I was told, right, right, because what I'm told, and correct me if I'm wrong, that something about when they first made this car, the engine like wasn't balanced or something like that, so it sounded different, yeah. and the V8 has like a deeper, throatier sound versus yeah. the V10 on the on the first gen. So now he's V8 with the V10 power. Oh my gosh, that's sick. Mm -hmm. Are you guys Oh my gosh, that's crazy. Because when I had my V8, everyone used to almost sell a real supercar. It's a V8, even though there's Ferraris that are V8s, right? But still, it's like you get crapped on. Now you get this and you're up to part with everybody else. And yeah, you're right. You keep that sound. Mm -hmm. Deep throaty, like, dude. Go view some clips of a V8 and a V10 in the first gen. They just sound way I different. I've never tried it. But you're right. That is con it is controversial. <laughs> it's, it is. It's very controversial. All right, guys. We are all. Dude, we are all finished right now. I'm. That's, that was quick. What was that 15, 20 minutes? Yeah, <laughs> That's crazy, man. All right, let's start this thing up. And um, I'm excited. God, it's so quiet. Gosh dang it. I need that exhaust, baby. I need that well, exhaust. I, still sounds pretty good. It's not bad, right? Yeah. But I'm just, I mean, after hearing your car, then hearing the freaking SVJ startup, like, yeah, I need, I, need, I need to get back in the game. Well, let's test this thing out. I'm excited to see what it feels like. 
And even though it has a stock, well, sport exhaust, but stock exhaust on it, see what the crackle sound like. I'm super excited. That's what I'm really pumped for the most. I know some of you guys hate the pops and bangs. I love it. To me, it's just, it's fun. It's fun. All right, let's do it. <laughs> You hear that? <laughs> Let's go! Do with no exhaust, really. That's amazing. Let's go, baby. Woo! Let's go! Okay. Do you guys love me in a Huracan? Or do you love me in a Huracan? Rear wheel drive. I think we love it. Let's go, baby. Woo! <laughs> I don't it so easily. Like, honestly, my car, I don't know why. Like, I try to do it, but it's very hard. <laughs> I don't know why. Even though it's oh, really man. All right. Let's go get some grub, man. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> oh, my gosh. This thing feels so good. Yeah. Wow. Amazing. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Dude, this tune is crazy. Dude, I can hear from back there. Really? Oh my, oh my gosh. Guys, this tune. Wow. Extra 60 horsepower. Let's just think take off. Trash control on, still skirt skirt. <laughs> yeah, there's a difference. PFS, baby. Oh, of course I did. <laughs> was that good or what? I got scared for a bit. Like, like, Come on, man. I know what I'm doing now. What's up, brother? Dude, How happening. are you, man? You, buddy. I you want to come show you guys the new ride, yeah, man. Thank you, man. I heard it coming. You did you? Oh, yeah. I heard yes. it coming. Yeah. Guys, first off, I want to talk about this. This tune is crazy right now. One I want to put in here, I didn't get the transmission tune because they'd have a file on, on deck for me. I'll have to come back for that. I'm really excited for that one because it's... It's ridiculously fast right now. I think it's about 60 extra horsepower, maybe a little bit more, somewhere in that ballpark, and it feels way different. And the pops and bangs, love it. Once I get that transmission tuned, it's gonna be smoother and quicker in the shifting department. So I can't wait for that, man. I am, woo! So we'll come back up. I'll do another video on that, on the transmission, how, how different that feels. But man, this tune makes this car open up so much more and I, I can't wait till I get exhaust in here. It's gonna sound ridiculous. But VF Engineering, you guys are geniuses. You guys are the wizards. Holy crap, guys, get yourself a VF tune. Whatever vehicle you have, they offer for like, trust me, it is night and day. Night and day difference. So Mo, you, you, can, you can hear it, huh? I need some stickier tires, man. I need some stickier tires, <laughs> I know. I gotta get my X comps on here, man. I don't have X comps on here. They are a little bit stickier and they're a lot smokier though too, which is even better. More special effects. They're on the way, man. They're gonna come with some of the new rims and I actually, on the rims, I know I told you guys I have some rims being made and designed, but I have an idea that I'm gonna do with my pink rims. I'm not gonna tell you what it is yet. I'll let you know in a future video, but I have an idea to get those on here and it won't look like Pepto-Bismol, I promise you. Wow, we are here at PFS. Uh, man, I know a lot of you guys said don't wrap the car and wow, you have to wait and see um, what I got coming up next on the next video. I hate to snake you, but you have to wait and see what I got coming up next for the next video while I'm bringing the Slimer Mobile. That's I'm calling it now, the Slimer Mobile over to PFS. Holy smokes, man. It's been a pretty good day so far, man. Let's keep All this right. thing rolling. Next one, guys. Wait, whoa, no, no, wait, 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 wait. Don't, don't start that. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Excuse me.